friends, I'm Miss Caitlin. Welcome back to another music lesson. I am so, so super excited to share our new music lesson with you this week because it's a really fun one. So last week, we talked about a group of instruments that you had to blow into all of them to make a sound. There were five of them. Can you remember what they were? Let's see. I remember the flute, the oboe, the clarinet, the saxophone, and the bassoon. Do you remember what they're called when we have a group of instruments that we blow into? If you said the woodwind family, you're right. So if you remember, last week I told you that today I was going to bring to you the woodwind instrument that I play. Hmm, who remembers it? Do I play the saxophone? No. Do I play the bassoon? No. Do I play the flute? I do, friends. I play the flute. So at the Monroe Street Arts Center, we have all kinds of music lessons. And I teach both piano lessons and flute lessons. So if you want to learn the flute, you can come take flute lessons with me. So today we're going to talk about how it's made, what it's made of, and you're going to get to hear some things on the flute. Are you excited? Me too. So before we start, flutes come in a case that's fairly diagonal like this. And if you look inside, if I open this up for you, there are lots of different flutes, but you can see that my flute has three pieces here. So we talked about last week, flutes are made of different metals. Most flutes are made out of silver. You start band, some of those flutes are even made out of nickel, like a nickel that you have a coin for. Then a lot of flutes are made of silver. Some flutes, like the flute that we saw in our feature video last week, was totally made of gold. Miss Caitlin has a little bit of gold right here, but her flute is mostly made out of silver, which is pretty common. So our flute, I said, has three pieces. You ready for some new words? This first piece is called the head joint. Can we put our hands on our head and say head joint? <gasps> head joint. Our head joint is the top part of the flute that starts at the crown is actually the part of the dippy, dippy, dippy top. And my gold section right here is called the lip plate because that's where I set my lip. <gasps> so we talked about with the flute last week how you have to blow across it like you're blowing out a hundred birthday candles. So what I'm gonna do is if you see my lips here, I'm gonna put the flute underneath my lips so that I'm covering some of the hole here and I'm gonna pretend like I'm blowing out birthday candles. Ooh, that's so cool, huh? The air is coming up this end. I can also get a different sound if I put my finger in here. So watch, let's see if I can play a song with this. a really almost version of Mary Had a Little Lamb, only with my head joint. That's so cool, friends. Okay, the next part of my flute is called the body. So after our heads, we have a body like this is a body. My body has lots and lots of keys on it where I'm gonna show you how we put our fingers. The last part of the flute I'm gonna show you by itself is called the foot joint kind of like our foot and our foot joint has some more keys and that goes at the very end. So if you watch me friends, I'm going to take my head joint, you remember our head joint with the lip plate, and I'm going to attach it to the body of the flute to line it up so that it's ready for me. And then I'm going to take my foot joint and I'm going to line that up on my body too. Okay, we talked about how you have to use your left hand and your right hand when you play the flute. So I'm gonna put my left hand up here and my right hand down here. And then I hold the flute up like this. So this right here is my right arm. So the flute is coming out to my right side. And I can play a note. That's really cool, huh? How we can do that with notes. So we talked about how the flute is typically a pretty high instrument but all instruments, even if they're high or low, have some notes that are lower and some notes that are higher. Like here's a pretty low note on the flute. 
which is pretty low, even though our instrument plays usually pretty high. Here's a pretty high note on the flute. See, there's all sorts of different ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a scale, which is a group of notes, and I'm gonna start on the lowest note that my flute can play, and I'm gonna slowly go up to the very tippy top highest note that I'm gonna play, and then I'm gonna come all the way back down. So what I want you to do is pretend you're on a roller coaster and take your hand, and as I start at the bottom, I want you to move your finger and your hand all the way up as high as you can to see how high you think I'm gonna play, and then move it all the way back down to the bottom. Are you ready? You can also count if you want to how many notes that we're gonna play here. Did you make your roller coasters as I went up and down on the flute? That's so cool. Okay, so that you can hear the flute play a little song, I'm gonna play a short little melody and then I'm gonna teach you about some other fancy things that this instrument can do. So here's a little melody so you can hear it some more. Okay, friends, so there's just a basic melody. Let's talk about some other really cool things that the flute can do. Can anyone roll their tongue to make kind of like a cat purring sound? I can't roll my tongue tongue, but my throat can make that kind of sound. Uh, like roll your tongue like that. If you make that kind of sound into the flute, you get something like this. It kind of sounds like a buzzing bee if I play a couple of notes like that. That, my friends, is called flutter tonguing, which is super cool that we can do on the flute. Something else you can do on the flute is if I play really, really, really softly, really up high, it can kind of sound like a kettle or where you could boil tea or something that's like a steam engine. Those are some whistle tones that the flute can do. Let's see if I can show you one more thing. You can also cover the whole hole and make it really low that way, or you can, you can change and blow directly into it. So sometimes that's a really cool thing that the flute can do. Let's see. If you ever have any questions about it, you can definitely talk to me and I'd be happy to show you what other fun things that our flutes can do. If you look at my fingers, all of my fingers are pressing down on a key, except my right hand thumb, which is kind of just there for support, but it doesn't have to press down on anything. Thanks for learning about the flute with me, friends. Tune next week, we're gonna learn about the brass instrument family. Bye.